Good morning, everyone. Well, I just wanted to know who is planning to go to Quartzsite this next month, November. I guess most people go December, January, but you know, it's getting cold everywhere. There's snow, It's there's fog, there's like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel the chill factor and I'm thinking, maybe it's time to go to Quartzsite earlier than the crowds. I'm not sure yet when I'm gonna go there. I've got a few places I've gotta to go to and people I have to see prior to going. Um, but this chilly weather is not for me. Like I was gonna visit my friend in Utah and you know, right now it's like 70 degrees, you know, but I heard she got snow like last week. So I was just like, uh-uh, <laughs> I am not going anywhere where my tanks can freeze. So we're not doing that. Um, I also got an invitation to stay at a beach house. Um, in Southern California. And I just thought, you know, one good earthquake and I would just, I would have a houseboat. <laughs> it's really close to the beach. I wouldn't be charged anything. It would just be free to stay there. So that's an option too, but it would be different if it was summertime, you know, and it was just like, oh, the weather was so good, you know, so nice. But, you know, it's coming up to where it's colder. Um, the fog is rolling in and I don't know. It's just not as fun, you know, so, and I really don't know anybody in that town. So, but I have options. So that's always nice just to have the options. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I'm just trying to get an idea of where, what everybody's planning to do. I, uh, you know, I didn't know that people go to Colorado and to, you know, like that area um, during the summer. I might have headed there, but I had a great time. I had a great time, but I don't think I'm going to go to Washington and Oregon next year. I think I've already explored all of Washington that I can possibly see. Possibly I'd go to Oregon. I'm not sure. I haven't seen all of Oregon. And, but the laws are kind of changing a lot too, as far as nomads and parking and, you know, boondocking. So we'll see if I'm still even in this lifestyle, you know, I just play it day by day. Anything can change, but just trying to get your thoughts and your ideas on what, you know, what's coming up for the winter. Um, I don't have Roxy with me right now, so I'm sorry. No Roxy. And it, again, it feels so weird. I wake up. And it's like, <laughs> I wake up, I'm, I'm sleeping in a parking lot. That's what you do when you're homeless. You sleep in parking lots. Um, I'm not homeless. I'm houseless. Uh, she is, she's fine. She's good. She is being pampered. So I've got an appointment later today and I've got to do some things. So it's going to be hot where I'm at. So I figured, why don't I just go ahead and put her in her little spa. It's a little spa and she walked right in. She was just like, hello, I'm here. Can you do my nails? Can you give me my, um, my regular room? And um, I'll come out to meet everybody later, but I would like my meals on time. <laughs> She's very demanding. Little prima donna, Roxy. Um, She's just like, but no cats, okay? I, 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 I just wanna relax. I don't wanna fight today. Oh my goodness, that cat, you know, was so adorable. I would take that cat. Um, and I think eventually they could be friends. I really do. I think eventually they would be really good friends. Um, I'd have to probably train her like with a muzzle to know like, okay, this is, this is, this is not something you have to hunt for. You know, this is not a, she would bring me possums when she was little. Um, this is not something, you know, like their instinct is to hunt badgers. So anything small and furry, she goes after like little, you know, squirrels and, um, rodents. Well, obviously not rodents. I had mice in my RV. <laughs> um, anyways, Roxy's fine. Roxy's good. We'll see Roxy in the next, uh, 
probably in the next video or two okay um but anyways let me know you guys uh what your plans are for winter if you are a full-time or even part-time uh traveler so i want to check out new areas you know i've seen quartzite i've seen joshua tree i've never gone to borrego borrego springs i think it's called borrego yeah i think that's what it's called so i'd like to visit there but yeah i guess south south that's all you can do is just go south and i'm not going to mexico um not going to texas so let me know your what your thoughts are and where you're planning to be i think most of you guys that travel are probably going to be in quartzite but let me know when you'll be there uh, maybe i'll be brave enough this year to meet up with a few of you guys um what i did last year was it the year before i just said you know email me your coordinates and let me stop by when i feel comfortable enough and brave enough and then that way if i stop by i can leave anytime it it, it takes the pressure off <laughs> i am very introvert guys believe it or not i'm very introvert i'm totally comfortable with my friends that i've known for a long time but as far as strangers i get really really quiet and very shy so it would just be awkward um but if i have a friend or two with me and we stop by then i think i could do it i think i can and of course you guys want to see roxy um so that kind of breaks the ice a little bit as long as you guys don't have big dogs or cats we're good <laughs> all right bye guys have a blessed day okay bye